So I'm making this warning because I've been receiving a lot of emails from people that cl are claiming to be struggling with sins and just not being able to have any victory over these sins. Now, what you need to understand is that there is a huge difference between struggling with a particular sin and just flat out being a slave to that sin. And to be honest, most people that speak this way are just slaves to it. See, what you need to understand is that at the root of self-pity, and when I'm talking about self-pity, I'm talking about the person that's just, oh, woe is me. I'm just so pitiful. I can't get any victory over this sin. I've prayed about it, but God's not doing anything. At the root of that is just pride. Okay, And it's prideful because you are essentially placing fault with God. And the Bible never gives you any authority to do so. The Bible doesn't say to pray about it so God will take it away. The Bible says to put it away. See, God holds you responsible for your sin. God is sovereign, but we play an active role in our salvation. And you will perish. You will go to hell if you don't put off your sin. And you may say, hey, that sounds like you're preaching works. Well, yeah, it is works because you don't get to heaven without works. Matthew 7 talks about this, okay? It's those that do, not those that say. Faith without works is dead faith, all right? And see, this is what makes Christianity different from every other religion in the world. Christianity is supernatural. There is real supernatural power behind Christianity, power that regenerates you, okay? You must be born again. So this is what I want you all to think about. If me and you were having a conversation and I asked you to tell me about the old you, okay? What's true about the old you that's no longer true about the new you? Could you tell me anything? Do you even know what I'm talking about? Do you, do you know that most people that are alive today will never actually meet a Christian? Okay, most people that most people will live out their full lives and have never come before a Christian, never encountered an actual true Christian. And you'll say, "Well, what are you talking about? There's churches all over this town. Okay, there's church down the street." Well, see, that's the problem because you believe that because people attend the church service and say, "Oh, I believe in Jesus," that they're actual Christians. Listen, you must be born again. Okay, something supernatural must happen to you or you will not get to heaven. And if you don't know what it is to be born again, then reach out to me and we can talk about it. Probably the most common question that I get is, how do I know I'm a Christian? And sometimes people are trying to reach back and remember whatever they felt at some moment when they prayed a prayer, walked an aisle, uh, felt an emotional attachment to Jesus. They think their salvation is based on something that happened in the past. No. How do you know you're a Christian? You know you're a Christian when righteousness is the pattern of your life. You used to be a slave of sin, now you're a servant of righteousness, Romans 6. It's the transformation that is the evidence. Where, where there's no transformation, there's no salvation. Faith without works is dead. That's why you... Hear Jesus say, by their fruits you shall know them. Good trees produce good fruit, bad trees produce bad fruit.